Hello, good morning once again back in our laboratory, Andrea and Thomas. Good morning. Uh, we are talking yesterday about the um, monolithic crown. Today we are talking about the cutback technique for the lithium ceramic. We milled in our milling machine the crown, as you can see here. This is in wax. We have to make the form a little bit more comfortable and we set it on the model and as you can see today this is not the full crown not a monolithic this is a cut back crown in wax in the moment now we are going ahead uh, the step will be the same as yesterday we take a little bit stick on wax fix the stick on wax on the spool wax and set spool wax on our wax crown, fill it a little bit and fix it better. And now, as you can see, we prepare it for you once again a little bit because it's faster. So on the muffle, you can see this is a cut back crown. And now we fill the investment material and for the investment material, please let me show the step here. You see what we are talking yesterday. It's necessary if you have only a single crown to have a blind channel without the crown. This is always necessary. We pressed the ceramic and come back with the pressed ceramic to our working place. We cut the crown. And if the crown is cut, it, then we can go ahead, set the crown on the model, do some steps with the graining tool. This is always the space for the special colors. I want to show you later the special colors. So with the special colors, it's possible to make more and more transparency in the crown. Looks more natural. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Now we go over to another place uh, to put the ceramic on. Please, once again, a small view of, through our training center. We have space for 12 people and we can train every day, individual or in every way as you like. So we are back on the ceramic place and we are talking about the different colors. These are not all colors, only some colors, but effect or effective uh, colors. And Andrea is now on the step to work with our humidor. Humidor is a, a wet plate and she fills the part which one was not full. She filled the part with several special colors, what she like, but this is a very individual step. She is working with a, a ceramic brush by natural hair. But even is not a, a, a big difference if it's a synthetic, it's only a personal thing. You can have brushes in natural hairs or with standard, it's a mixture by synthetic and uh, natural hairs. But very important is to work with a stand like this one. You can see the brushes are always in the right direction with a magnetic system. is very, very helpful uh, for your work in the laboratory. Andrea is now ready and we go over to our furnace and Andrea start to bring the crown in the furnace and we respect all the time 
once again the different colors you can have from the lithium ceramic and the stains and please uh, print out a little bit the manual in the manual you have a description for all ways cutting back monolithic whatever you want in the English language or language you like. We have five different languages. Mm -hmm. And now the crown is coming back from the bacon. And Andrea shows us the crown, which one is looking very, very excellent. After first layering. After the first layering, only one layer, yes. So now we have the last step. To go with the glazing therefore we have to change once again the the place because she has to grain it a little bit crown is on the model and the graining is done And sorry for the lot of changements, but now you see it on the model. And now we will change to our ceramic place because on the ceramic place, Andrea will do the last steps with the glazing paste. Therefore, she changed from the humidor to the stain humidor. Stain humidor means uh, uh, colors are always wet. It's not necessary to put some liquids once again inside. And In Palatinal, I use the glaze paste because this is the pressed material. It needs a gla glaze paste. Ah, okay. And the glazing paste is not necessary to make two or three bacons with the glazing paste as you, some people know it some months or years ago people has to done about two or three glazing to have a very shiny crown and for the layered part it's enough to use the liquid and the stains okay perfect Andrea so she is ready once again you can see everything is working very fast. We change now the place to our furnace once again. Andrea set it on. Bring it to the furnace. This is the last bacon. And goodbye. Okay. And what I forgot before, you can have also from the lithium, the lithium press ingots. Press ingots is very, very helpful for the monolithic system or for the cutting back. During this time, I think the ceramic round will be ready and it's coming back from the furnace. Yes, Andrea, take it out. Great, it looks great. I'm so happy to see it. Now she will set it on the model. So leave it warmly. And now Andrea shows me the result. Ah, this is the part for our. Just one second. You see, there was a small problem and we can help you for this small problem. Firstly, a small few on the crown. Very, very good. Very natural. Uh, it's a great, great crown. And show you, there is falling down the crown. And for this step, we have a product, which one is in the moment in the research, but we want to show you something. This is very, very helpful in the lab. She put a little bit of this material on the die. 
set the crown on and now you can see it is fixed so this is helpful for <laughs> you it's better than cracks in the crown so andrea thank you very much once again for all these steps thank you for the work and we will see us next week have a nice day bye bye